Guatemala, a country located in the central zone of Latin America, characterized by having 360 different microclimates due to its geographical location. It is a valley surrounded by mountains, forests, and volcanoes where its topography has different heights above the level from the sea throughout the territory. There are eight coffee-growing regions in the country which export their products to the United States, Japan, Germany, Canada, Belgium, Italy, and Korea. Among these regions, the first one we're going to mention is Acatenango Valley, where coffee growers grow the grains under dense shade at an altitude of up to 2,000 meters above sea level. Acatenango Valley is a neighboring region and very close to that of Antigua coffee due to its geographical position and it's characterized by being a volcanic subsoil rich in minerals with little humidity, a lot of sun, and cool nights. This valley is surrounded by three majestic and large volcanoes, Volcán de Agua, Volcán de Fuego, and Volcán de Acatenango, characterized by the adventures that can be lived in these areas near the city of Antigua, Guatemala, in jurisdiction to Acatenango. This is a colonial city that is known for its architecture, customs, traditions, and for being a very visited tourist place. The mountain range that crisscrosses the country allows for coffee to be produced in almost all regions of Guatemala. The finest coffee considered a specialty is grown between 1,300 and 2,000 meters above sea level and it's produced in 20 of the 22 departments of the country. The most suitable temperature for the health and abundant growth of coffee production in Guatemala is between 60 and 89 degrees Fahrenheit. This type of agriculture has a special characteristics that differentiate it from other crops. A coffee plantation with a very particular ecosystem needs specific care. This is how the process begins just like a new adventure that can be tasted even in our cups. The two most cultivated coffee species are Arabica and Robusta. Each coffee bush produces only once a year, about 400 grams, and can approximately bear fruit for 50 to 60 years. This is just a small part of the coffee process from its beginning to the final product. This is how 502 Cafe was born, taking the entire process from its beginning in production to the final product into your homes and giving you an adventure in every sip.